How to make rhinestone template in Cricut Design Space. Step 1. First download and install a rhinestone font in Cricut Design Space. Step 2. Click on the text tool in Cricut Design Space. Step 3. Click on the font drop-down menu then search and select a rhinestone font. Step 4. Go to the shapes tool select a circle then resize it to a rhinestone shape. Step 5. With the circle selected click on the color watch button in the operation section and change the color. Step 6. Then resize the design to match the circle in the design to the rhinestone circle you just created. Step 7. Zoom in and place the design over the circle and see if the size matches. Step 8. To double check the size of the circle duplicate the design and position it on the mat. Step 9. Go ahead and click on shapes and select another circle then resize it. Step 10. Place the circle on the corner of the design covering one dot. Step 11. Select the duplicated design and the circle you just made and click slice. Step 12. Now delete all the slice results except for the circle then check the size of the circle from the toolbar. Step 13. Resize the design until the circles are the right size. Step 14. If the design is too large for the surface select the design click on combine and unite then edit the design. Step 15. Once you have the design ready click on make it and set the material load type to on mat. Step 16. Reposition the design on the mat then go ahead and click on continue. Step 17. Next click on Browse All Materials then click on Material Settings to create a new Material Cut setting for Rhinestone Flock. Step 18. Scroll down and click Add New Material give it a name then click Save. Step 19. Scroll to the New Material set the pressure to 275 turn off multiple passes select Fine Point Blade and click Save. Step 20. Close the custom material window click on browse all materials again then find and select the new cut settings and click done. Step 21. Set the pressure to more and check the remember material settings box. Step 22. Now place the flock onto the light grip cutting mat with the liner side down on the mat. Step 23. Smooth it down on the mat using a brayer. Step 24. Load the mat on the machine by pressing the load and unload button then press start to begin cutting. Step 25. Once it's done cutting remove the mat and peel off the material from the mat. Step 26. Place a piece of strong grip transfer tape over the flock material and burnish it down well. Step 27. Then peel off the transfer tape to weed out the small circles. Step 28. Next grab a weeding tool and start weeding out the rest of the design. Step 29. Peel the backing sheet off from the design then stick it to the felt mat in a tray. Step 30. Scatter the rhinestones on top of the design then brush them across the design. Step 31. Keep brushing until you see the rhinestones start filling the circles right side up. Step 32. Once you've set most of the rhinestones fill out the remaining circles and flip the upside down rhinestones using a tweezer. Step 33. Once you're done setting all the rhinestones and everything looks good take a piece of heat transfer mask and place it over the design. Step 34. Grab a scraper tool and lightly scrap over the stone to make sure that the stone sticks to the transfer mask. Step 35. Peel off the transfer mask gently making sure that the stones stay on the mask. Step 36. Set your heat press settings then get the material ready. Step 37. Pre-press the material to get the wrinkles out. Step 38. Place the rhinestones on the surface and press it for about 15 seconds in medium pressure. Step 39. Go ahead and press once more if required then peel off the transfer mask. For more such help and information, visit us at
www.mannymaker.com, or call us at plus one seven eight six eight six six five nine three two plus four four zero two zero three nine eight three zero four eight zero.